So for the first part of this tutorial, what we're going to cover is inspiration. It is very important for you to either have some form of inspiration or um, art to work off of, of co or concept art, so that you just at least know what you're going to create inside of your level in, in your game. So for this inspiration, I use the video game called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And there is a part very early on in the game, I just played the video, where you uh, run up a set of stairs and then there is like, a, well, first of all, this is just the animation that is playing. There's not actual physics uh, or apex cloths or anything like that. But where you just walk into this area, where there's a runner sitting down, there's a bunch of couches, you can see the outside of the city. Uh, everything in this level is basically just here to make it look good. As you can see, there's reflections on the roof, there's a guy sitting over there, couches, there's a television, and there's a bunch of small items just stacked up everywhere. Like there's a pamphlet lying there, uh, shoes, and a kind of bunch of tins. And here is, uh, I'm just demonstrating like the screen space reflection fall off that you saw inside of Unreal Engine 4 in one of my previous tutorials. This also happens, this is a Frostbite engine, so it is just a limitation of screen space reflections, not uh, specifically as to Unreal itself. So you can see all the items that are, or everything that you need to create inside of this level. So what you want to do then from here is you're going to list all the items you need from basically from largest to smallest. So for instance, you're going to start with the block out of your level. So anything architectural will basically be the larger parts of your level. So that will fall under your large list. You're, then you have your medium sized list, which will be anything from couches to f and furniture to maybe a door or things like that. And then you have your small items, which would be like the coffee cup over here or the the um, tins of cool drink or anything like that. What, what this does is it just gives you a certain priority on how you can work with your level. So if you start with the large items first, the large items, even though they're not tremendously difficult to create, if you look at all the walls, it's basically the same texture repeating on every single wall. They are not the most difficult to create, but they like dominate 80% of your screen. And the rest of the items are just like stacked there for cosmetic value, basically. So the larger items will be easier to create and will be more important than the smaller items for starters. But later on, you can like just fill your level with the smaller details or whatever you want to put in yourself. So with all of that said, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, rundown of the list that I created for the items that I need uh, to recreate this level. So let me just bring it up. All right, so everything you can see here is what I listed from largest to smallest. So I didn't use any software or anything to like list this out. This is just like put into notepad itself. So walls and floors uh, outside buildings large pillars and windows are all going to fall within like your large or architectural side of your um level and then the medium is the floor details if you can see inside of the level itself you'll see there's a floor underneath but there are other details on top of it to kind of just uh make it look a little bit cooler i guess no real practical reason for that. So then uh, you have couches, coffee, a coffee table, side table, television, pipes, boxes, small pillars, carpets, curtains, large vents, and a chair. Now the small pillars is everything that, or uh, part of what I consider to be um, areas that were or things that were put in afterwards to just try and add a little bit more detail to the level or let me just see see over here this pillar you can see that wasn't part of the original architectural block out of the level it was just added in later so um, that is why I listed small 
pillars under the medium objects. And then under small you get the shoes, piece of cloth, coffee cup, soda tin, large, uh, not large, sorry, lights hanging, and animated cloth, which I put a star next to because it's animated. It is not going to be a necessity for the level, but if we want to, we can put in the animation. And then you have a vase, uh, debris and paper, a tablet like an iPad or um, an Android tablet, and then just some random files that were lying around. So this pretty much makes up everything that you require inside of that level to make it look as good as what it does. So anyway, what, what we're going to get into in the next video is all the software we will require to actually create this level. So everything will be free software, so you don't have to worry about anything that you need to purchase or so. So um, let's get on with the next video and um, I'll see you all then. Thank you for watching.